Okay, greetings. This is Classic Games Redefined. My name's Rich. This is a makeup video for the Mutator Betrayal. I'm going to explain Betrayal is, and then we're going to hypothetically discuss maybe how it could apply to my game, Trader Ace. There's been a change in policy. I really have a hard time. I'm going to get issues from publishers if I even remotely show their games or promote their games or do anything beneficial. Tabletop Simulator. So, we're going public domain. This is a Trader game. Just off the cuff, and I'll use it as a preference here. This isn't quite ideal. I'd have to change it because the system automatically goes autopilot. Pretty much the trader drops out. But the way Trader Race works, and what's the betrayal mutator here, is that your the players here will be playing on the non-trader side. Okay. They're playing cooperatively. And we'll actually, we'll show you how we play the Trader Race here. It's a little bit more passive. It's more of a red November which is a game they have. Anyhow, what you do is we... Oops, sorry. I muted the mic. We'd end up having the players play cooperatively here. And if somebody drops out, they then will then force their opponent to actually, or players in a game, to actually play for the non-trader side. They would end up having three cards and dropping out. Or actually, they play with six cards if they felt the side wasn't going to make it. So pretty much what you do here, just to sum up with the way their betrayal works, is that a player on the cooperative side defects. They make a conscious decision to defect to the non to the system and believe it's going to win. In Red November, for example, which is another game you can go look at. I'll post a link to that and also put a link to Trader Race here. Way way it works is that the betrayal format is they don't work with the system to try to sabotage players, but you drop out. So that's kind of a weaker version of this. So in betrayal, if there's a game system where you can defect, you can then take over and control the game system. In in Castle Panic, for example, what you end up doing is that you end up taking over the overlord position. So sum up that's what it was. This is just a prop here. And you would play cooperatively, and I go look look up a link on Trader Race, and that's it. I'm just showing this here. This is a makeup video. I'm disappointed I have to do it, but I really want to get it. I apologize for the blank out of the mic before. It's just I end up hitting the mute thing by mistake. So, and that's the latest. We'll get this video up soon. So, okay, that's the latest. I do want to thank for watching, and may your die always roll five.